Hi everyone! Today in this tutorial I want to show you how I crochet this really cute backpack for little princesses. If you like it, stay with me and watch till the end. The whole tutorial of creating this backpack divided into three parts. In the first part we'll crochet. In the second part I'll show you how to make adjustable straps. This part isn't necessary. If you haven't strap, you can make crochet straps. And in the third part we'll make a lining. Let me tell you about cords that I used for work. It's an acrylic cord with diameter 3 mm. This cord is very soft and lightweight than polyester cord. If you use polyester cord, you can reduce the number of stitches at the bottom and at the wall of the backpack. So, for work, I get two skein as a main color. It's a blue cord. And as contrasting color, about half of skein. It's a dusty pink cord. There are 100 meter in one skein. I'll show in the description below the shop where I bought these cords. So, let's begin. First, I'll begin from the bottom. Make chain 15. As I said earlier, if you use polyester cord, you can make chain 13. Then turn over chains, the first row will crochet into back bump of loops. I skip the first one and insert the hook into the second one and make single crochet in each chain till the end. Then make turning chain, turn over and continue crocheting by making single crochet in each chain. And continue like that while you have in total 25 rows. Here is my bottom part. I will steam it well and I leave it for drying. My detail turned out to be 17 cm in length and 11 cm in width. After full drying of the bottom, I take a piece of felt smaller than the bottom itself. I sew it on bottom with the needle and thread. It helps to avoid sagging of the bottom during the wear. The bottom is completely ready. Let's continue crocheting. Now I'll crochet front side of the back and at first I need to cast on stitches from the edge of the bottom. The bottom consists from 25 rows, that's why I have to cast on 25 stitches. So make turning chain and cast on stitches by inserting the hook into the short stitch and uh, into the long front of stitch.
Make the turning chain and crochet the second row by making single crochet in each stitch. Don't forget that the amount of stitches must be 25 stitches in every row. The third row crochets like the second row. Overall, before the beginning of the row with a heart pattern, we'll crochet three rows, including the first foundation row. The hot pattern begins from the first row. For your convenience, on the screen will be a pattern chart of the front side of the backpack. Digits on the pattern chart are beginning from 12, 10, 8 and etc. meaning how many stitches you need to crochet before the bubble stitch in each row. The bubble stitch crochets from the pearl side. All rows from front side crochets with single crochet. Let's begin the fourth row with the first bubble. And I said earlier it's a pearl side. Before the bubble we need to crochet 12 single crochet. After crocheting 11 single stitches in the 12th stitch, insert your hook, yarn over and pull through the loop. But the top of the stitch we finish with a contrasting pin cord. Keep in mind, we always finish the top of the stitch with a contrasting cord before the bubble stitch. Since we are crocheting bubbles with a contrasting cord during the crocheting process, we will hide another inactive cord in word stitches in order to reach the perfect result. So, have a look, we crochet the first bubble into the 13th stitch. A blue cord I apply on those stitches. The pink cord is active now. For making bubble stitch, yarn over, insert your hook into the stitch, yarn over and pull through. Yarn over and pull through two of the loops. Then, I repeat this step four more times. You can do it just three times. There will be 6 loops on the hook. 5 of them are not quite completed double crochet stitches and one of them is the previous loop. Yarn over and pull through 5 double crochet stitches with the pin cord and leave it. Afterwards close the stitch with the main blue cord. We need to just and tighten up the cords in the process. Then, till the end of the row, we need to make 12 single crochet with the main blue color. Our first bubble in the fourth row is ready. So, let's continue. All rows from the front side is being crocheted with single crochet. And one more thing I want to draw your attention, that when you crochet the row from the front side, you need to hide a pin cord inward the row until the intended location from which the first bubble of the next row on the pearl side begins. For example, in the 6th row, we'll have 2 bubbles and a 10 single crochets till the first bubble by the pattern. We need to crochet 10 single crochets and close the top of the 10th stitch with the pink color. So, when you crochet the 5th front side row, we would hide the pink color inward the row until 9 stitches will be left at the end of the row. It helps to get more neat pearl side and the inactive cords won't stick out. Therefore, every time on the front side, we need to hide the pink cord inward the row until the place where the first bubble of the next row will begin. I hope that I am clear with my idea. If you will face any hurdles, please don't hesitate to leave your questions in the comments below.
the sixth row. In the sixth row, we'll have two bubbles and the ten stitches till the first bubble. At top of the 10th single crochet I closed with the pink color. See, I left the pink color at this place. So, it's ready for work. Then, I crochet a bubble stitch. Between bubbles we need to crochet 3 single crochets and the top of the 3rd single crochet we need to close with the pink color. By pattern we always have 3 single crochets between bubble stitches and every time top of the 3rd single crochet we close with the contrasting color. Also, don't forget to hide inactive cord in what you crochet and to adjust and tighten up the cords in the process. Now, crochet the second bubble stitch and at this place leave the pink card. Then, by the pattern chart, there are 10 single crochets till the end of the row with the blue card. The seventh row is the front side. Here I'll show you again that I hide the pin cord in order the row till the place where the first bubble of the next row will begin on the pearl side. It means that when we crochet the seventh row, we would hide the pink color in the row until seven stitches will be left at the end of the row. Further, all front side rows you will crochet by yourself. The 8th row. In the 8th row, we'll have 3 bubble stitches and 8 single crochets till the first bubble stitch. So, firstly, crochet these 8 single crochets, then into the 9th stitch, 
you will need to crochet the bubble stitch. After the bubble stitch goes 3 single crochets with the blue cord. Then, when you finish the third bubble stitch in this row, we need to continue crocheting single crochets till the end of the row. Dear friends, further, crochet third pattern by yourself according to this pattern chart. The third pattern finishes at the 20th row. Look, this is the last bubble stitch in the 20th row.
It was the last stitch with the pink color, so we need to hide inward the pink cord till the end of the row. We secure the pink cord in this way. Afterwards, cut off the pink cord and the lowest end of the cord can be burnt with the lighter. Our hot pattern is full completed. Now from the 21st till 25th rows we need to decrease stitches in each row at the beginning and at the end of the row, so that to give slightly rounded shape to the top of the back. In the 21st row I'll make the first decrease. For that I need to crochet together the first and the second stitches. Then crochet single crochets into each stitch till remain two stitches at the end. Look, I am crocheting together these two stitches now. The row is completed. Make the turning chain. The 22nd, the 23rd and the 24th rows will be crocheted likewise the 21st row. In the 25th row, I am skipping the first stitch, then I crochet together the second and the third stitches. Then, make single crochets into each stitch till remain 3 stitches at the end. I crochet together these 3 stitches. This side of our future backpack is completed. Now you need to crochet the other side by yourself. It's a simple part of crocheting. All the process of crocheting is the same as the front side, but here we'll crochet without any special patterns. You need to crochet single crochets into each stitch in all 25 rows, and make decreases from 21st to 25th rows likewise on the front side. Just repeat two process from picking up stitches till the end without the hurt pattern. After finishing both sides, cut off the cord and hide the loose ends in ward stitches with a white eye needle. Then we need to steam the details off well and leave until dry. Now, before crocheting side pieces, I'll measure the wall and the bottom of the backpack by tracing them on the paper. It helps me for sewing a lining. Let's begin to cast on stitches for the side piece. As we remember we have 25 rows on each wall. After decreasing stitches in the last 5 rows, we've ended up our crocheting with 13 stitches on the top of the wall. We need to comply with these numbers when we'll cast on stitches. So let's begin. We have to look on the pearl side of the detail. I am going to insert my hook in the last stitch at the bottom and then make a turning chain. Pick up stitches from this short stitch and from the long back loop.
Scheidseien between stitches. In total, there are 25 stitches on this side of the wall. On the top, cast on 13 stitches from the front loop. Then, continue casting on 25 stitches from the other side of wall again till the end as we've started. Please, double check number of stitches. I make the turning chain and a crochet single stitch into each stitch back and forth till I have 6 rows. Then, repeat these steps for the other wall of our backpack. Leave about 1 meter of the cord for sewing details on both sides. The next step is sewing our details. I am threading needle and pass the cord through the rows to start sewing the details from the corner. Firstly, I am going to sew one side piece with the bottom. As you can see, I sewed the details within the ordinary way. I've just picked up the edge part of the loops from each detail and tighten up a little harder.
After finishing, don't task loose ends immediately. Go over and start sewing on the another side. When you finish to sew the both sides, you'll need to place markers where the zipper will be located. In my case, I have a 30 cm zipper. I believe this is the most optimal size for this backpack. But you may have a different size. So the first thing, you have to find the center of the top and then accordingly to the zipper size, count down evenly to both sides and place the markers. So as I said, in my case it's 30 cm zipper. I find the center stitch. Then, from the center, I'll count down 15 stitches on both sides and hang the markers. Repeat this for the second part. When we've defined where our zipper will be located, we can finish the sewing the parts and uh, hide the ends of the cord into the pearl side. Our crocheting is full completed. Well done! Let's continue! I also will make adjust straps and a seal lining for this backpack in separate videos. To view, go over by link in description below or in the tips for this video. But if you don't have straps and the other furniture for making adjust straps, please don't worry, you can crochet it. My friends, I had just 2 meter of straps. And when I did these adjust straps, I forgot about handles. That's why I'll make the handle from this remaining piece of strap. First, mark how the handle and the straps of the backpack will be located in the center on the back of the backpack. Next, I put the handle and the strap together and I sew to the back of the backpack with matching thread by color. Make it very firmly, so that the straps don't tear while wearing. That's all. Now I'll show you how I attach the half rings to the down part of backpack. For it, take a cord about 30 cm. Pass the cord through the needle. I deduce the needle out from the pearl side and leave the end of the cord about 10 cm. I fix the half rings by passing a cord through it several times.
Then I carry off the cord to the pearl side. I tie the ends of the cords in a knot firmly. Then hide the ends in what the rows. Fix the second half ring likewise. Now I am going to do one manipulation which helps firstly I can close the seam of the backpack straps and secondly I can strengthen the part where the straps are sewn. It will help to reduce the load from this area. So I will crochet a row of slip stitches under the straps. Then I pull out the cord to front side. For this step is enough about 2 meter of cord. After make turning chain like me and a crochet 2 rows. It's a single crochet into each back loop. And in the second row, make single crochet into front of stitch. After two rows, pull out the remaining cord. We will sew this detail to the back with it. I did sew by introducing a needle under the loops and a leading into the inside of the backpack.
After finishing, you can tie in a knot the both ends. That's all. Before sewing a lining, hide all ends well. The most part of the project is done. Now I want to show you how I sewing the lining to the backpack. How I sewed the lining you can watch by link. So let's begin. We need some sewing pins to that fix the lining. Pins help to not move out the fabric during the sewing process. I distribute the lining over the backpack and affix the zipper with pins. Get the needle and thread with matching color. I fix the end of the thread and begin to sew the zipper to the backpack by little stitches. I'll make it by a seamless method. I pry the zipper with a needle so that the needle doesn't go through the zipper. Thus, when we open the backpack, we'll not see these stitches which are made by hand. So, I will pry the zipper and the bump of the loops of the backpack. Then try thread well. The essence of the method is that our stitches must sewing very firmly and these air don't be visual. Continue sewing like this both sides of zipper till the end. And work harder in corners. I recommend repeat all sewing step twice. Thus will be sure that the lining is firmly sewn. In general, I can say it's the end of the work, but I decided to fix the lining inside the backpack in some places. For it, several stitches with needle and the thread are enough.
Look at this beauty. I think it's very cute and neatly. I'll show how it looks on my daughter at the beginning of the video. I hope you really liked this tutorial and your backpack. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to subscribe, press the like button and turn on the notifications. There are more tutorials to come. See you later and thanks for watching!